Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. Uh, in this video I just want to clarify a uh, few things regarding the upgrading the firmware of the Phantom 4 Pro. Mine is right here. Uh, because I saw several videos of my colleague YouTubers who were posting the videos how to upgrade the firmware. Even there are uh, very simple and nicely explained videos directly from DJI on YouTube. Uh, some of the colleagues uploaded their videos and some of them got me confused I just want to clarify a few things so uh, there are two ways of upgrading the firmware uh, one way is uh, via PC using the PC and the DJI Assistant 2 software and the second way is uh, via DJI Go App 4 as I said some of the colleagues confused me like this colleague here uh, who has a video about upgrading the firmware to the latest until now firmware upgrade and in his video he is showing us how to do it few clicks on his PC and he is turning on the receiver turning on the aircraft why he is turning on receiver there is no phone attached to his receiver it's not connected to the app I really don't know as I said two videos from DJI one explaining how to upgrade via PC or Mac Apple computer and second way uh, how to upgrade via DJI 4 app if some of you are also confused and you don't want to click on the links in this video and watch the DJI instructions I will now go through the process of upgrading the firmware via PC so let's check it out so here are the really important steps first of all I'm not powering on my transmitter because I'm going to upgrade the firmware via the PC first important thing and regardless of upgrading whenever you are powering on your Phantom 4 Pro take off the gimbal cover the gimbal protection so my Phantom 4 Pro is powered on DJI Assistant 2 is running on my PC what you need to do is to connect your USB micro USB with a PC and now we are going to the screen so it is connected you go to the Phantom 4 Pro enter your email and password and as you can see I'm running the V01.01.02 .01 version of the firmware and the latest version is V01.02.03.04 and you click upgrade So it reminds us that this process can last approximately 15 minutes. Our computer is connected, the system is powered on and it reminds us not to unplug the USB. So when you are doing the upgrade, don't unplug your USB, don't turn off the quad, don't turn off the PC, don't exit the DJI Assistant 2 and it is downloading the latest firmware now it says updating what I forgot to say is that your battery should be at least 50% full My is, mine is now 100% full but 50% is what DJI recommends and something that 
DJI go DJI assistant two will not let you do until the battery is 50% full. One more thing, it's absolutely normal that your gimbal gets loose or the different flashing lights are showing up on your aircraft. As you can see now my gimbal is loose, so that's absolutely normal. My lights are now yellow, the few seconds ago they, they were red, so that's everything absolutely normal, just don't touch anything and let it finish the updating. The aircraft is restarting now, updating is finished. As you can see 100% and it says update complete. Now we have a button here that says back, we can go back and it says we are running current edition of the firmware so now we can switch off our Phantom 4 Pro and we can check together if everything works Fine. So now I will connect my phone. Start up transmitter and it automatically starts the DJI GO 4 app power on my Phantom 4 Pro RC connected, connected GO FLY tap GO FLY and it says oops it says latest firmware and after a firmware upgrade it's recommended to do a, an IMU calibration on your aircraft it's suggested to be done when the aircraft is cold so let's go through this process also Some announcements from DJI. So the aircraft is on. It should be done on flat service, like I said in my previous video. Latest firmware, we saw that. So let's go to the menu, aircraft menu. So I was already in this part of the menu but it is in uh, advanced settings sensors state IMU calibration just click start and follow the instructions on the screen and IMU calibration success so that will be it and 
let's do a quick auto gimbal calibration. So when you do and uh, when you're doing auto gimbal calibration, the aircraft shouldn't be touched. There was a warning on the screen. The gimbal is calibrating. It says don't move the aircraft. And it says gimbal calibration completed. So that would be it for this short video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, support it as much as you can.